April the 2nd, 2021 it is, and today what I am going to do, I am going to concentrate myself on the news which I have posted day before yesterday, actually dates to April the 1st, 2021, since we're talking about time. We're going to go here. And uh, the news is actually related to my father, who would come out of the uh, his uh, basement. I am not thinking about basement, like basement, but basically out of his way to I don't even know what exactly I would think about it either to protest in his way against me for posting the truth about yet another murder here in Aratish uh, for which by the way really um, Vladimir Putin personally not only Vucic and, uh, and Lavrov have anticipated big. They knew about attention they get with by killing, murdering Slovenian people around me. Right here in Slovenia, whenever I was brought here from the USA, from United States of America for torture. This went on between 1995 until August 2006 or 11 and a half years which during which never I supposedly would be anywhere in Europe time during which I would not even exit the United States of America anywhere else than twice to Ecuador where my ex-wife is from and so because they get so much attention they tried to plant something to prove that it was not them who were doing the stuff all along. And they did have a support from the local psychiatrist who was involved in this thing from the very beginning. His name is psychiatrist Peter Peter Kopsch. This video, because this is about my father who came out, appears to me also to incite in paranoia people whom I would meet on the streets just as the case was in Poland and in the Czech Republic and that included the police it included the Polish police it included the Czech police I identified As if he was trying to scare them away from me or something like this. Like he was trying to incite in paranoia so that they would not proceed to uh, give me account, basically witnessing, whenever I speak to these people. And the third option possible, which I think is very, very likely the case, for the sake of this individual here, Yeah, because I think just like Kim Jong-un, just like this guy here that you see from North Korea, and I demonstrated the picture of Kim Jong-un in this case, not only because he was involved in MK Ultra. yes, I was not brought only to the Chetnik Serbian state for torture, but also to the Kim Jong-un too. Uh, but because of this individual here that you see here, this is a Russian who was also involved in MK Ultra, and the girl that you see, both were involved in MK Ultra. Girl, when I look at it a little better, like this, she's really not bad looking because I understand that she expressed interest in me. And I can tell you like this when I look, this is not bad looking at all. 
in reality, if uh, I would probably even express interest in her, real interest. But when you are drugged up, and I am going to say this to Slovenian people, wherever you go around the world, in this case, this is the United States of America, that committed itself to something that it should not. It was completely unconstitutional against all international treaties and laws what United States of America did. Take audio recorders, always uh, Androids, wherever you have, a record, whatever it is the hell you do. And if you see that things are not coming along in whatever you are, that something is anticipated of you that does not fit your views and so on, Buy yourself a plane ticket and come home, because things are only going to take from bad to the worst. I know. The problem we have here in Slovenia, in my case, was that the government here was actually the government that represented foreign interests, because we had Borat Pahor, we had people like this that don't see themselves in our people, in us but they see themselves in representing rather other interests, foreign interests, among us. I know. Things are going to change, though, I hope. I mentioned an individual that you have just seen. I have demonstrated you, Vladimir Putin. And at the end of this video, I am going to play you his audio again, because this is the audio that is supposed to cause me quite some damage. This individual, by the way, and so that you understand why is it that my shoes, I'm going to have videos and clothing and stuff, was destroyed. Why was it important that my clothing was destroyed? Why was it important that that kind of stuff that was destroyed? According to the Putin, according to the Putin, according to this lunatic that you have seen right there, according to other lunatics that came here from Russia, from Serbia, because I ridiculed them, and I did refer to them as a crazy people, insane people, city folks, incompetent, stupid, ugly, demented, anything I possibly could come up with. Not that I didn't do the same. Not just, not as often times to American crew, I did. It's just that the American crew would rather mind their business. They would go about their stuff, they would do their things, and it was important for them to complete their tasks, move on with their lives. But not with these people from Moscow, not these people from Serbia, from Belgrade, from Russia. They wanted something more. And it's precisely why the Russian government have re-elected Vlad, the great Vlad, Vladimir Putin. It was so many people killed that the Russian government felt it would be best to use me as a prime example of evil all the way to the end. So what better way than to introduce uh, MKUltra scenarios into a real life of an individual who was tortured, hospitalized, forget about forcefully unemployed, if that's not enough. And use his frustrations to boost maybe even popularity among the people, the city people worldwide. Use his frustrations to embrace perhaps Alexei Navalny option. Maybe maybe he would go for something that would be so broken 
spine broken, mentally broken, ruined, destroyed, that eventually he would settle for other option, for a good option, you know, for the justice, for the just, for the just option. Maybe he no longer would see this guy here as ugly, as demented. Don't worry, I never did. I didn't have a problem with the city people either. Shoes, it's a really short story. I grew up here in the village. And because we do have a wild berries here, raspberries, in this area here, forest area. Uh, if you would not, as you walk, lift your shoe up, step forward or lean forward with your foot and a little thing like this vertically the elevate lower your shoe again and then repeat the procedure uh, in, in fact if you would go and you would slack you know slack shoes you would not lift them up like this uh, the wild berries raspberries they would uh, destroy you the shoes and so because this city people, as I refer to them, stupid, incompetent, did stuff like this, uh, now it didn't bother me if it, if it did happen to you. The thing is that it was you, idiot, that you gave yourself to Donald Trump at mercy. You signed the contract for the sake of your lucrative careers. For the sake of the contracts, whether that be musical, even boxing, even whatever kind of contracts in Hollywood or whatever, business, whatever kind of contracts, missions abroad in China, which is deemed, was deemed as an enemy state, Asia, whatever, um, or simply you came from Moscow or whatever place here so that you're going to land, I don't know, what kind of career? in government sector or whatever you said your dreams were that you're gonna fulfill them this isn't my fault how can I tell you how can I explain to you for me this was not a torture is a torture now if you're so incompetent that you would not realize that that's one thing but Americans did and that's why they were committed in the most part to help me out but when it came to Russians, they couldn't. They just didn't understand any of it. The difference, huge, huge difference. One side committed to helping, assisting in trouble. Other side committed to Alexei Navalny option. They committed themselves to Vladimir Putin, just as the Kremlin committed itself to the last millimeter, to the last second. That's why I reject Alexei Navalny for the hell everybody inside of the Kremlin committed to protect their president Vlad, Vladimir Putin and I don't care about any opposition I don't care about absolutely anything Vlad is today inside of the Kremlin they protect him they re-elected him just like they did Andrei Duda just like they did Morawiecki Kaczynski gang they did so because they are pushing a neo-Nazi global neo-Nazi plan. Something they have all claimed along they're against. But that doesn't matter. They committed themselves to this stuff so that they could rescue him, so that they could do the stuff just as I have explained, basically. Regardless of the cost that would come for me. They basically disregarded my life. They disregarded me to the last second. To the last second. What you have seen was filmed, I think, what, in 2019, that Kim Jong was there? Kim Jong was in Russia already before. This is rehearsal. This stuff already happened before one time. Kim Jong already was unofficially in Russia before already. And so, 
it was not for free. I will say nothing about what's taking place elsewhere across the Europe and what's going on in throughout the U.S. But they committed themselves to this stuff so much in a hope uh, to cause collateral as much as possible damage against me uh, that I'm actually really, really surprised. That's why I'm saying that we're going to have to have people representing us our existence here in Slovenia uh, and really when it comes to all this stuff yeah there is a difference between the US and Russia if you immigrate to Russia or to Serbia I think you are mentally retarded I think you're mentally ill but when it comes to the US also if things don't come along if things don't go along the way they should for you do the right thing and hopefully we're gonna have a government people here that once you're gonna come here we are not gonna be extorted we are not gonna be blackmailed and we're not gonna be threatened with compliance or otherwise if you are only gonna be half decent and you gotta gather some proof prior to departure from there um, my father, with what he orchestrated on April the 1st, would come out of his, uh, as, as you would say, like uh, winter sleep into completely Orwellian, completely, all of a sudden, completely awake talk about the police, about... Well, I'm going to go ahead and translate to you, but I did mention Vladimir Putin, and I did mention Borut Pahor, now Slovenian president, with a good reason. The reason is this here. These were accusations against me based on which I was even hospitalized. Individual who lied against me was an individual with Sveto Gradishar. This was a yet another psychiatrist who was involved in my MK Ultra case. MK Ultra case even prior to Peter Kops. Right here from Novo Mesto he is. In 1995 this was an individual who along the Russians commenced physical torture, psychological and physical torture at memorials of the partisans. Uh, when the torture first started, there was no people, there was no natives, there was not even people that would later join this orgies present. He had two other people along him, of which one guy I even understand was destroyed. He wasted him, he destroyed him, and another one... Um, he kept him around, whatever. This is the way this was. And light uh, the worst to my neighbor. This is what angers me the most. That's His name is Emirislav Berger. That's what angers me the most. This here, this is what my father assembled against me. This was done here, actually, in year 2012, now 2011, 2012. Uh, accusing me of attempt to exterminate Slovenian people along the Jews, along the Roma people, uh, life-threatening all the time to my parents. I am not aware uh, that my father and my mom would even have a scratch on their body, on their face. Uh, he missed to mention that detail. One did not exist, it, but I did have a scratch from my mom, who did attack me, by the way. Uh, claiming here that I left the United States of America with idea to employ myself there and in disembarked myself in Miami, Florida. Uh, 
I obtained the US citizenship there and I returned back in 2006. That's a good thing because it confirms that I never ever visited Slovenia between 1995 and 2006. Thanks very much for that. <laughs> I stayed at home two more years. During this two more years that is mentioned here, it's nowhere mentioned even that the tires were even stolen from the car that I brought from the US. That new tires which I have replaced right here in Slo Slovenia upon arrival. Yeah, I, those tires from the US were really good. But to be safe, on a safe side, because it's a Florida, I did bought another tires uh, for that car, for the new car which I bought. Yet those tires were stolen by the neighbor from the garage, sold. I wrecked myself soon after with a tires without which they had almost no profile on them. And in year 2008, that's basically when I won the war against the police in a novel mist where the, st where the Senate decided at the police station that it was a police station that conspired against me even in respect to a theft of the car parts dispatched a psychiatrist, psychologist at home kept me jobless like now to terrorize me and it says here he left without even explanation back to the US found himself in Sweden and in America. This is this is how they write. This is what they do. This is how, yeah, this is what the state prosecutor wrote. This is insane. Completely insane. There was absolutely no evidence, nothing about any kind of abuse, about anything. The incident with the neighbor here, I have even posted one on the internet. I did not even hide anything. The only thing I did was I asked them to leave, please. And so, lie atop of the lie atop of the lie, which would never ever happen without my father, ever happen without my father, who appears to me to be still in a basket of Vladimir Putin. Basically, I am gonna cut this straight to the issue. The issue is such, ladies and gentlemen, that I did create another video. I am gonna release. I am gonna fix that a little bit. And then I'm gonna release one in respect to my mom and dad and family in general, including the police which explains all about the MK Ultra brainwash on how I should view my life upon return from Poland right here in Slovenia, what exactly was anticipated of me, how to see my father due to his disease and so on and so forth. But I'm gonna put it this way, I'm gonna just cut short to this. This dementia from my father, um, this started already way, way, way back, long time ago. If I would take you inside of his rooms, you would find a lot of stuff completely packed, new, unused. It's not unusual to find like just like something like completely out of out of uh, imagination or something like that. Like you would see a science fiction or something like that. He had a bunch of tools, stuff, packed, never used, waiting. Um, and did so with idea to convince if things would go wrong, that something is wrong with him. It's not uncommon for a criminals to resort themselves to insanity issues because it is better than to face jail. 
Here is the audio recording I will present you with. This is what I got, basically, for posting the truth about another murder at the Torchets. This one really, really touched deeply because I flash light quite good. Who is behind this? Who was doing this stuff? Uh, inside of the t uh, inside of the room, my mom comes, her father is, and says, "Come, come to eat, and you're gonna get food, and uh, you're gonna take some medications." Which he's taking. And I tell, uh, mom says, "Come and eat that." She has a food if you're hungry. Did you go there? Have you been there? Did you go there? And uh, I am not sure what exactly he's talking about. And I tell him, yes, I did. I did. Because I don't know what he's talking about. But in a little bit, I'm going to learn. You were really there? Yes, really I was. And he said, and what is it? And I said, where? You went to the mechanic, uh, the electrician, am I correct, he says? At the electro mechanic, uh, electrician, mechanical, car mechanic. What am I going to be doing at electrician, a mechanical, car repair, man? What am I going to do there? The one that works for the police, there is only one, he tells me. Uh, electrician mechanic that works uh, for the police uh, is just one, you're saying? Who is this uh, electrician mechanic? Well, I don't really know his last name, my father tells me. But where is this mechanic that works for the police? Where is this man? Uh, well, this electrician mechanic, I will tell you, he says, uh, is, do you know where the stream, the, the little rivulet, Rateshki uh, Potok, is going through? Uh, do you know? I said, yeah, sure. Uh, he lives right along this stream, uh, this Ratushki Potok, a rivulet. Uh, but this guy, you know, this guy, he says uh, he will do nothing for you for the police, you know, he will do nothing for you for the police. Um, at, uh, I'm going to say at this point in time, 
it becomes to me evident that um, my father is trying to cover up for someone something and I congratulate myself because this came minutes upon posting my video about what happened here to individual at Ratish. I, I, I did hit the spot uh, and my father says uh, he says this guy is not gonna do nothing for you for the police I am not aware that police would be the one that would how can I say it's it's actually difficult for me to even say I don't even understand it appears to me that police does have something to do with it in a good sense I think that they are trying to correct what went very very wrong uh, and I actually believe that the witnesses that are coming that I have ability to interview somebody is coordinating somebody is doing this I have to say that during MK Ultra police was involved police observed uh, it was all kinds of police officers that were involved and some of the police officers did not agree with the stuff that went on but it looks like they had very little say in it um, so or that what my father is saying sounds to me like he is like this guy cannot do nothing for me at the police like <sighs> difficult to actually even explain uh, you could actually even translate this as a gesture that somebody the father is saying that somebody supplying me with information or something like this or I would say that I have not only informants but that I have somebody that I don't know is would be stealing the information from the police or in that sense or something like that this is um, the stuff that I could not help myself but not to forget what I demonstrated you have happened to me in 2012 because of which my life was completely ruined it wasn't about the forced unemployment only uh, it all turned into a psychiatric torture most severe more than what you possibly can imagine do you know what exactly is to be tortured with a substances with the poisonous substances you have no idea what a military chemicals a military agents can do to your body do you I don't think that the medications that were given to me uh, during this uh, treatment in a parenthesis were actual what is referred to as medications. I don't think I got the average treatment. I think I got a chemical agents. I think I got a military agents in it because it was hell to take that stuff. I cannot even explain the pain, the stuff that I have gone through. It's actually unexplainable. When you feel your entire stomach, intestines, everything is about to explode from pain, your body, you want to escape literally from your body because of the physical pain. I, I'm not aware that those would be like a psychiatric medications uh, which I followed on the internet. Some were actually even commonly used. And if they are, then why not to kill people? I have no idea about that. So that I really could not afford myself but to post this audio here. I don't have any police informants. I don't have absolutely anybody. Uh, I don't have any people like this. This is all actual factual from MK Ultra, And we can go from here to Canada. And we can go from here to US and to Germany. And I can start with MK Ultra or Ukraine and I can start to give you stuff about the structures when they were raised and maybe even about the people and stuff like that it's quite strange the information you can pull out so I couldn't help myself but to stop this uh, I should say stop at this audio recording uh, to present you with this stuff my father lied lied against me badly 
it could cost me easily life. It easily could cost me life. He did, in fact, everything possible for the police. He did actually absolutely everything he possibly could have to benefit Alexander Vucic, to benefit Vladimir Putin. There was nothing in his book, nothing in his hands. He wouldn't have done it. He was ultra-violent during MK Ultra. He abused me along other people. He joined them. And he took pride. He took initiative. He was taught by certain friends to calm down because he felt so empowered. He's small, about the size of Putin. Felt like, wow, you can do shit like this to the guy like that? Watching me, his own son, like a mountain in front of him, and you can just fuck with him, do whatever you want to do with him, treat him like an animal. It was like so impressive to him that he was actually warned by his friends that he needs to slow down, also in respect to others, because he lost himself in reality. This is the trick about MK Ultra. People do so. On on on. Uh, to him it's police that holds him for his neck and he has to report everything to a police yes, and I say yes of course I say of course father Ah, uh, he says, my father says, this is just like you would have a rope around your neck. This is just the same. It's the same. Um, my father gives Orwellian advice. Obviously not to me, because I don't give a shit. Uh, but maybe to my viewers, maybe to the people that participated in it. You tell something wrong, and immediately you are like this, literally. You hanging on a rope. This is advice I get from my father. Funny, funny and uh, and you have nothing then. And you have nothing then. Wow. If I was a Vlad, if I was a Vladimir Putin or Vucic, that's exactly the kind of speech I would want to give. So why not to use my dad, right? You know this, right? I, I tell him, uh, no, that I did not know that. I had no idea about that. And father says, you did not know. You did not know. My mom comes and says, come on, um, father's name is Savo, come to eat. I tell him to my father, I repeat again, I say to him, no dad, I had no idea about that, no idea about it. I tell him, but thank you very much for letting me know. And now I know. Oh, father says, I also fear for myself because of that. It could happen to me the same thing. I could also fall in there. And the same would have happened to me. If I would open my mouth. And uh, he says, if I would... Blah, if I would open my mouth, if I would dare to open my mouth. Uh, if I would zeno. You know? And I said, but what, what exactly would you open your mouth about? About what? What exactly would my dad open his mouth about what? I mean, what, about what, 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 this would be helpful to me way back then in 2010, the latest, when I returned back from 
Sweden all broken screwed up uh, after all my savings were stolen after I was completely destroyed but that was 11 years ago um, today when I did all this stuff I don't understand what exactly is here to say about all this so I am like but what 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 will you say about what so uh, and he says tell tell uh, but the one the one so this is like Orwellian completely he can tell and he can do this thing you know the one he can do and he can he can do and he can tell this thing what exactly is he talking about um, the thing about it is that father indicated me all kinds of stuff but nothing really directly uh, I had to ask him a question to give me an answer but you know when you remember things clearly it's kind of you go back to that question tell what tell what but you had time you had in 2010 you could have done that and instead of that look what the hell I had to go through I mean tell what what are you gonna tell I mean when when <laughs> average criminal when you get him when you prove him a crime you know what he's gonna do in this case you know why this guy here next door continues to destroy things why he continues to do stuff he continues to do stuff because he wants to catch himself in the end if he catches himself in the end he can say yes I did this it was a scenario he had a scenario in MK Ultra that he's gonna catch himself and admit and Americans were like yeah 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 and you walk away from it right and what the fuck I walk away from I'm 50 years old what the fuck I walk away from what did the dead people walk away from what do I walk away from if you if you catch yourself what oh my god I have a proof now oh, at this stage I say fuck you and fuck your proofs at the police my father says they find out and they just go and they just grab a whole bunch of people and they lock them up Ooh. and there is nothing that's all there is uh, I tell my father yep that's right um, take care of yourself I know oh, before I say I I go about and I say yeah in that case it's better to be just quiet like I said 11 years ago this would make a difference but when they break you even a spine and Moravetsky 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 threatened to beat me up physically along uh, Slavyansky, Slavyansky, champion, boxing champion, Golota. That's a Polish boxer. That's, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of um, Ivan Drago. Have you heard about Ivan Drago? Ivan Drago, this is, uh, I think his name is uh, Ralf Langrin from Denmark. He was involved in MK Ultra. And he played in that Rocky movie, this uh, uh, Ivan Drago, big Russian tall guy. Uh, he's so strong. And then he had this Sylvester Stallone, a smaller Italian guy, and this big battle between the two. And it appears to me that undoubtedly that this was a bunch of uh, insane people, for one thing and in their imagination Golota, Polish Golota 
it went it sold out very very well too with um, Vladimir Putin Vlad actually helped him financially later on to cut deals according to the Russians alone to the Vladimir uh, you would he gave him some kind of stake ability to purchase in Russia I don't know commodity oil I don't know what it is and he's doing very well with his investments let's say Andrzej Golota that's a boxing guy that's this guy here this is a big champion this one this here but this is not a good picture this is the best picture of this you know when when he was younger and when he was younger you can see him uh, on a match with the Tyson you know and then you can see uh, on a match with the Tyson you can see his blondish you can see uh, you can see him with a uh, steel blondish you know that's that's how he Andrzej Andrzej Golota, no, this is the man here. Eto Veliki Slavyanski. What's what was the name? Ivan Drago. Champion. Yes, Ralph Long Green. Because Vladimir Putin, you know, Vladimir Putin dreamed that Slavic uh, genetic you know and because this guy this Andrzej Golota looks very Slavic also Russian he said uh, he dreamed that Slavic genetic is the most powerful strongest genetic that was he, Vlad was convinced about this and he was so convinced about this stuff that he eventually uh, convinced uh, Kaczynski was all crazy about it but Duda, Duda, Duda wow man when this um, Ivan Drago this Slavyansky uh, snowman got knocked out by the much smaller Mike Tyson actually beaten up so hard that he would not even want to go to continue anymore and this was the match literally they arranged with him because of a new nazi because of the sick fascist ideology that andre golota alone started to believe in so they put him back to his place uh these people started to threaten me they're gonna beat me up that this and that and ta 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 and that's that's when he came this spine breaking shit idea about even to break me a spine and that kind of stuff retaliate and um about Andre Golata this is gonna be just a video some other time I am gonna play but really when I think about Veliki Vlad Veliki Vladimir so he's not so big you know Vlad is about one meter fifty this is a dwarf actually this guy uh, but when I think about how he talks about the genetic you know the shit that this lady here her name is uh, again Biljana Plausic oh, I, this is a war criminal also along the Karadzic and Slobodan Milosevic you know when I think about this kind of stuff genetic the way these people talk when I think about these things about this obligation to a Nazism, to a fascism, through the hatred, through what Kaczynski even claimed was my fault that Andrzej Golota lost, and Andrzej Golota was completely pissed off that I destroyed his life and this and that, and because of all this, that they are now, they're gonna retaliate and they're gonna just side with the Nazism and all that kind of stuff. When I think about that kind of stuff, uh, man, and when I think about this kind of stuff, this, this, this shit here, who acted deliberately stupid, you know, he acted deliberately stupid, and he tried to connect with a city issues, city people and stuff like this, so that 
this individual here, who undoubtedly also is a war criminal, would gain sympathies. It kind of makes me really, really sick. And if you were Russian, it would make you sick too, but it makes me so sick that I don't even believe individual who witnessed all this shit, and his name is uh, Alexei Navalny. So sick it makes me that I decided I'm not going to give a chance. No Navalny, not anybody else. I decided the only chance I'm going to give is going to be a chance to a Polish, to a Ukrainian, to a Czech, to a Slovak, to a Slovenian, to a Croat, to a Bosnian people, like I said. Whatever the hell you go, whatever the hell you go, take with you. A little audio recorder, because they record, and they film record, and they do everything you possibly can imagine, but it's never seen on the mainstream media. They don't show this stuff and share the shit lies in the background. Andrzej Golota had another Pollock recording also, video about me against the Tyson and stuff like this under MK Ultra and so on. Also raising another uh, racism issues and stuff like this. The guy is just really bad person. Uh, it's a dirty world. You better watch yourself, you better take care of yourself so that the dwarf like this is not going to eat you with the lice. Because the lice, they kill people. This guy is a killer not only because he would poison and do the stuff like this, uh, but he does this shit with the lice, through the lice. He's a really good liar. This is a very experienced liar. No? Or like when he talks about the genetics, you know, this speech, which he brainwashed me during MK Ultra, what the speech is going to be, how this is going to be. You know, touches a health and so on. In response to Joe Biden. But the genetics, that stuff really, really is unique. Because Vlad, Vladimir, and I'm sorry, Kremlin, Kremlin, a Russian government, it's not Vlad. A Russian government, because it's the Russian government that appointed him, like I said, the same like Moraviechki do the back. So they could deal with this case at least somehow. Uh, see, different genetic, cultural, and moral code, and so on. You see this shit? Um, yeah. We will work with them through our own interests. Let's do this stuff again. I didn't do very well this stuff. So, so much screwed up that I decided that really not going to give a chance not even to Navalny, not going to give a chance to anybody. I'm going to give a chance myself and I'm going to give a chance to my people. Uh, over the politic like this. It's a politic that is dividing the whole world today. The world is on fire. The one who set the world on fire is the people inside of the Moscow. Kremlin did. And Kremlin, frankly to tell you,
I would say has explanations to do. The thing is, I wouldn't listen to any fucking explanations. For me, the best explanation is what I told you. That's the best explanation. For me, the explanation is for my country, this country, to open the door to everybody globally without any kind of exceptions, basically on the same level, on the same code as it did uh, to Serbia and to the Russia. So that these people can be completely indifferent from the people from other parts of the world. So that we can, so that there can be a law, and I'm also suggesting this to the US, because the border wall is not going to work out. So that we can have a wall that is going to prove who is, what is, so that we can be erased so easily as a human beings, as a people, not only as a nation. Because th here the goal is not even to erase us as a nation. The goal here was to erase us as a human beings. Due to genetics, due to extreme hatred against us. So I would not listen to any kind of apology. I would not listen to any kind of explanation. Uh, Russia must do whatever is convenient for the Russia. But I hope certainly that our people, I mentioned, are going to do something in respect of this case to protect our interests. The United States of America had no right to do what it did. You had no right to bring me on a table to the Chetniks to subject me to a torture in North Korea to some crazy people, completely insane people. You had no right to do this stuff. You had no right to do this stuff, to bring me uh, to, in the country on a table to this kind of stuff? No. Sorry. Uh, I know you have a common interest at this point. I was worried about this kind of stuff, but no. Uh, thanks for watching this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play you an audio one more time. I deeply believe in a moral code of the United Nations, in a people. I think it's going to take a whole, a whole, a whole a lot more to complete the job that Macron, Merkel, some people in the US, and also in the Russia are trying to do to the people. It's not going to be so easy, and as a human being I have to believe into myself first. Then I can believe in other things. In lies, I will not believe. I decline that stuff. So that's all I want to do. I'm going to play this audio recording one more time, and you can go ahead and you can hear this uh, with your own ears. As far as the father, I'm going to put it this way. I don't hold him liable for anything. He was a crazy tool in the hands of the very wrong people. Um, there is even the stuff I was told that I'm not going to mention in this at this opportunity some other time because this this would be really it would be too much to mention uh, at this point. It's also questionable whether that's true or not. But he served as a crazy tool in the hands of the wrong people. Um, based on what I have seen, the case was with other people, how they feared. Um, I could easily took conclusion that either way he could have done nothing. Uh, and if he would try to do something, he too probably would end up dead. It doesn't appear to me this, but the thing about it is that so many people have died, killed, that a case, when you consider this degree of the corruption of the politicians involved in it, easily could have happened this and to him and to my mom. And that's something I definitely would not want. On the other hand, it could be that people saw something in him that prevented them from doing what they otherwise would have done. But that's just an excuse. Uh, fact of the matter is that 
for such a un despicable crimes like this there really is no excuse uh, to have a, such a politicians like this easily you could rate them as a mentally ill people and I would if it wasn't for Kremlin, I would, if it wasn't for the Russian people that would tolerate this kind of stuff. But, if something, and that's why I And more forgiving to the U.S. Even the U.S. ruined my life for the sake of own interests. Something is good is going to come out for other people, for us, so that we're going to be seen like a human beings, you know. So that something like this is not going to repeat again. Because this is, this case, this is just uh, I'm not going to say completely unmatched, but this stuff is um, not unparalleled, you know. I don't know how you can go about, uh, you know, stuff like this. Coming up after 12 years of torture. Uh, that was uh, 2012. After, in 2012 was this thing here. After 17 years of torture, of MK Ultra torture. Eventually that you come up with this shit like this. That that's all you do. That's This is what you write. And based on what you put uh, an individual inside of the mental hospital, this is this is insane. They mention here Mitya Weber. They mention here uh, a daughter from my sister. She is a spouse of this individual. The people who did such a harm that I glorified Norwegian killer Breivik and stuff like this or that that's all you get in the end that this is what it is that this is what it comes to that that's that's how it's done really the only thing I can say is I hope that another person is not gonna have to go through the stuff I did and if only something like this is accomplished it's a big thing that a case like this eventually can give an identity to the human beings that live here so they can have something in hands, a case that proves beyond any doubt that these people don't even consider us as a human beings. That's already a huge thing for me. That's a huge thing for me. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play you one more time this audio recording. So... That's not going to be some conspiracy theories. This was recorded on April the 1st. Actually, April the 1st, 2021. Let's go. Electromechanic, 
Виж ти ратиш ти фото в теча. Де? Ну, там обратиш към фото станує. Станує. Я съм у... Та ти не бориш дейло ти за полиция. Он може... Он не га държи полиция за братом и може у се търбе полиция. Я се вада. Той е па, бих тако укърде маш замко за братом. Не ти на робе побеж, но по срок бих. Па не имаш меч. Пеш, не е тук. Не, не съм бил. Не си бе тук. Само пет и ест. Ampak hvala, ki se mi povedal. Zdaj povedal. Tudi se tudi jaz bojim za se. Gre tako na odpade lahko. Če kaj zino. Ja, kaj ćeš pa zin? Ja, zin. Povedal, tist, 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 pa lahko naredi za stvari. Na polci tudi zvejo, pozaprejo, kaj prodi, pa ni več. Tako, se svišljam z njim. Pa v bojšte in hupe. I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to put it this way. Uh, I do want this. Um, I understand that people like this had a job to look stupid. I get it. I get it. They had a job to look stupid like this and they did a good job. From my perspective, when I see it, they did a really good job. You can see it, what that looks like. And from his perspective, it's well justified. It's good. It's the way it should be. So, I understand. But you also gonna understand my perspective. My perspective is that because of this, because of this try attempt, because of this kind of attempt, just like Milosevic regarded Croats as Ustasha. He never spoke the word Croat. It was the same with the Karadzic, it was the same with all the war criminals that were convicted, with the people that exterminated Masse. Never referred to them as a Croats. They referred to them as a Ustasha. Ustasha. Ustasha was a collaborator, just like a Chetnik during the World War II, just like a white guards from Russia, with Nazis, with the Hitler. I too, and I don't apologize for that matter, view you, Russians and Serbs as such. I don't somehow see you like, you know, like a Russian and Serb. Please excuse me. But I also will have a tendency to keep away from you just by viewing you from the same eyes as Vladimir Putin, as Kremlin viewed me, as what you have allowed these people to view me, is just a stand I'm going to take. And really, nothing personal, nothing that I would want to retaliate someone for, but just out of precaution, just out of conviction, just because of what I have gone through, I will get to see you the same as the white guards, as the Chetniks. Through the same eyes as I have explained. Thanks for watching this video too. Next time, no, 
nobody supplied me with any kind of information. I didn't get any kind of information from anybody. I didn't get any codes. I didn't get anything. Uh, nobody's working for me at the police. I don't have any kind of information leaking from anywhere. Um, 